Hey, Bilk. Well, I just worked a bunch of days in a row, and I'm tired. But today is my day off, and if you live off-grid, you realize that there are no days off. Oh, hi, BBs. Um, so, my plan for the day... Chicken coop. More chicken coop. Let's go in here for a second and I'll show ya. So, we've got these makeshift perches. What do you call them? Roosts. It's not enough for the chickens. It's not, it's not a good use of space. Most of the chickens like to go up top here and hide up here and uh, I gotta redo everything and it's gonna be a shitty job because there's chicken shit everywhere. Okay. So, get my pointer out here. This is what I've got to work with. I'm going to run boards horizontal, 32 inches all the way across and I'm gonna make more or less a kitty litter bed for the chickens called a poop deck. Then I'm going to have one roost go up t across the top for the highest pecking order and one roost all the way along the bottom for the lower. So anyway, because I don't have time to rip down to the store and grab plywood, I will employ the mill to do the work. So add it. Now, I'm going to uh, build a frame out of my very locally milled uh, two by twos. And I'm going to put these one inch slats on top of the frame. And that'll be where the chicken poop goes. So it's easy to clean up. Now I've got to decide how wide this is going to be. A chicken is generally about 12 inches. 24 inches would keep chickens kind of, you know, kind of close. I'm thinking probably, thinking like the 30 to 35 inch range would be good for the little, for the little, uh, what's it called? For the little kick, the chicken litter box. is I need to determine the height at which the uh, chicken, what do they call it? I can't, I don't know why I cannot remember the name of this thing. The chicken litter, it's just a, a poo catch. I gotta figure out the right height for it. Uh, sorry speckles. I gotta figure out the right height for it so that I can build two coops, I mean two roosts at a reasonable height Yeah, two roosts so that all my chickens can hang out up here. They can poop and all this and then they don't mess up all the uh, all the straw down here because it gets really humid in here with all that straw with all the droppings in it and whatnot. So one of the other troubles we've been having in here is keeping the chickens from sitting on the food bucket because they make a mess, poop all over it and they poop on the, they poop everywhere. So I'm trying to direct the poop into this box so that they want to be up here, they feel safe up here, and that's where they go. some off. 
Well, these boots were a lot cleaner when I bought them. Let's put it that way. Stinky and gross in this chicken coop. But I have got the, the frame in now. I'm gonna screw it to the wall. Probably gonna have lunch, recharge the battery on that camera, recharge the battery on me, and recharge the battery on my power tools because they're not working very well. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna put slats across here. And then one, two, <laughs> roosts. And yeah. That'll be that. <laughs> this is called a poop deck, and I saw it on another channel called Farmstead Smith. So thank you for showing us this. I'm excited to try it. Thank you, Adrian. Go check out her other videos. She's got lots of cool stuff, too. I'm trying to bang around here. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> I gotta put a, a cover over top of this because I'm gonna be putting sand on it. It's probably not that big of a deal, but this is pretty fresh lumber. I know that it's gonna shrink a little bit, and I don't want a bunch of sand falling down though. Is it really that big of a deal? Probably not. I'm just gonna do it right anyway. I was gonna try to put this piece in that it looked almost big enough. It's not big enough, so I need to go grab a piece of lumber tarp and get it cut in here, stapled, and then go grab some sand. Went to my local sand mart and got a couple buckets of sand. Okay, you know the funny thing about chickens is that I'll go through all this time to build these nice little uh, little perches here for them. And they'll sit on this thing and they'll be happier here than up there. It's kind of crazy to think how much time I've put in for these chickens. Like this coop is probably a good, I don't know, 10 hours of milling maybe. And then assembly and like, ugh. Katie loves the chickens. I love Katie. Look at that. That's not bad. Now I just gotta put the sand in here. I think the chickens are gonna like it. make this down here a whole lot cleaner. Hope it works because that was a lot of work. And that's a lot. That's probably 200 pounds of sand. Holy smokes, that's heavy. Easily actually 200 pounds of sand. With that, I am signing off. It's Miller time and I'm going to go enjoy a couple of minutes on the couch before I have another work week ahead of me. You guys all want to be on the top now. Brenda. Yeah. Okay, bye.